This is part one of the 8th grade disease prevention and control, uh, GLEs 2015. Uh, in this video we're going to talk primarily about um, the different kinds of diseases, uh, what their categories are, and what some of the traits of them are. We're going to talk about um, behaviors uh, that can increase one's likelihood of contracting one of these diseases. Um, we're also going to talk about the differences between a communicable, non-communicable disease and some other categories. First, let's talk about communicable disease. Uh, you see this picture here is kind of kind of gross, but it does a good job of explaining what a communicable disease is, and that is, simply put, a disease that can be spread from one person to another. Um, a communicable disease um, is uh, anything that can spread from a person, an animal. Um, it usually happens uh, through the air, sneezing in this case. Um, it can also go, be transferred through blood or other bodily fluids. Um, another term that you, that you that's used when talking about communicable disease is um, contagious. If something's contagious or not, um, you can use those words interchangeably: contagious and communicable. So the opposite of that, obviously, is a non-communicable disease. Um, there are four major categories, and they're listed here in this picture. Um, and, and when you when you start looking at this, it, it becomes kind of clear: um, cancer, while a, a disease, is not spread. Airborne, um, nor is diabetes or, or respiratory or cardiovascular diseases. Um, these are different types of diseases, uh, and they cannot be spread. Okay, a degenerative disease. A degener degenerative disease is one in which the cells, tissues, or organs of a body begin to break down over time. Alzheimer's is a really good example of this um, because what happens with Alzheimer's is uh, one's parts, different parts of one's brain. Uh, begins to kind of, kind of black out or shut down or, or degenerate. Uh, that's why it's de degenerative, uh, and this causes issues with memory and other functions. Arthritis is another good example. Um, the cartilage between one's joints uh, begins to deteriorate, and that causes bone-on-bone -bone, um, um, occurrence, um, which causes pain, uh, hence making a degenerative disease. A chronic disease is one that is kind of always present uh, in one form or another. Um, asthma is an example of this. Um, it, it doesn't, a person who has asthma isn't always suffering from asthma. It only happens under certain circumstances, but it is chronic. It, it continues to stay with the person. They may be able to grow out of it or, or what have you, but uh, there is a time in which um, the person deals with this uh, disease. Um, so it's one that stays chronic. Uh, it remains. A congenital disorder is one uh, that is passed down from uh, a baby's parents. Um, it, some examples of this are, are Down syndrome, uh, Fragile X. Um, Down syndrome isn't a disease that one catches per se. Uh, it has to do with uh, genetics and chromosomes and things of that nature. Um, that thus making a congenital disorder. Okay, heredity, a hereditary uh, disease or heredi heredity is the way in which parents transfer um, genetic traits down to their children. Um, this can deal with hair color, height, weight, things of this nature, but the reason why it's important when we're talking about diseases um, is that if a parent is um, more likely to uh, or, or suffered from heart disease or developed some kind of cancer or something like that, there's an uh, increased risk that uh, that person might. So that's why when doctors talk to patients, one of the first things they do uh, is to get a family history, a family medical history, uh, because for one reason or another, um, these traits are passed down from generation to generation. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, this more in class, but risk factors are, are it's really straightforward. Um, risk factors increase a person's um, possibility of, of contracting a disease. Uh, for example, if you have two people and one eats a double quarter pounder with cheese uh, for lunch and dinner for years and another person eats healthy, the person who's eaten unhealthy is more likely to develop heart disease or, or issues related to that. Uh, same thing with smoking. Uh, you have two people, relatively same type of person genetically speaking, one smokes, one doesn't, it's more likely the person who smokes is going to develop different kind of uh, diseases. Um, so risk factors obviously play a huge uh, part in whether or not a person will contract a disease or not. 
and this has been um, Disease Prevention and Control, 8th uh, Grade GLEs Part 1.